Okay, guys, thanks for joining us here in the charts. You're tuned into the Market Beast edition. It is your fellow compadre speaking, and today we'll be exploring uh, the market's correction weekly update. I figured I'd stop in because um, we may experience a little bit of downwards pressure leading into next week, potentially extending all the way into a total of three weeks, including this week. So you're talking two weeks out. So I'm just going to explain a few things so that we all can be prepared and understand, of course, your strategies. So uh, let's see what we have here on the menu. And let's go ahead and dive. Uh, before we get started, uh, this isn't financial advice. This is We no longer do TA here. This is just weird analysis. And uh, it's, it's also ASMR. So let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right. So today's March the 19th, 2021, and the current price of the S&P 500 is going to be $3,923.28. It's up approximately 0.2% for the day. Okay. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, these are the three-day candles, and I want to just pull up the... There's just saying two lines. We've only taken a look at two lines. Here it is. That's it. Really simple. So I think it's pretty obvious that the buyers have protected these two levels. That's really, let me see, that's pretty interesting. See how the, these three day candle, I like, came literally down to that level. I think we had it on the chart before it actually came down. I'm not sure exactly. 3,763 right here at this level down here. And the, the I, I think the one level that we may need to just pay attention to in case of a retracement here in the market that I'm, I think that we may experience uh, is just this level down here. The first level that we were saying, $3,855, this level right here. So. Yeah, if we experience some downwards pressure in the market, no need to freak out, no need to panic, guys. Just just understand that the market is seeking financial support, um, and I think that the market will likely find financial support if there is an imminent retracement in the market again next week. So hopefully we get this video out in time. Today's Friday before the market's closed, so this way you guys can implement your strategies and understand how you will be moving forward over the course of the next two weeks, all right? Um yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to stop and let you guys know. I remember we did say a, a level at about 3,600 um, as a potential worst case scenario. Uh, like if the market is where to get like really nasty. I mean, that, that, I think that level still applies. Uh, what I'm going to do is really quickly, I guess I can do like an EMA. What we were paying attention to, like if you're new here, just a simple EMA uh, moving average, just the exponential. Uh, let's see if I could just put it on the chart really quickly. Just a 50 moving exponential aver exponential moving average and let's see where it is right now in the three day all right so i think it's moved up a bit okay so right now the three day exponential moving average is currently at 3658 so it's gone up like 58 dollars okay so it's slowly going up uh we may not even have to worry about this uh level but the reason I'm bringing it up because I want everyone to understand, like if the markets like continue to like flush out, like really nasty flush out, which I don't think is going to happen. I truly don't think that's going to happen. I just think we're going to have a really slow, methodic move to the downside to potentially find support. Again, 3,855. 3, if that level fails, that's fine. We have an alternative level just below the price here. Uh, we're going up the same levels, guys. No, the levels have not changed. They're, they're, they're very strategic and they're going to stay the same until further notice. Uh, we just have to understand how deep of a retracement the market is going to correct if there will be a correction over the course of the next two weeks. OK, so, so the, I just want everyone to be on, on the same page as far as uh, a deeper retracement. Again, three thousand five hundred and three thousand six hundred fifty eight dollars is this alternative level here. Um, if you're new here, we were just basically the reason that we're focusing on that, because here's when the uh, the market, the very severe market correction took place uh, back in 2020 in February 2020. I'm not saying this is actually going to happen. The reason that I'm pointing out this uh, exponential moving average is because the only title telling sign that I pay attention to, I keep it as simple as I possibly can. When we get a three day candle to close below this uh, exponential moving average, then it's likely that's when that real sell pressure will uh, step into this market. Because actually, you can see as a result, when it broke below that level and it just like it found resistance, that's all we go over on the channel support, resistance, and patterns. You can also find support and resistance on moving averages. So, you know, take note of that, my uh, new technical guys. Uh, when you're taking a look at moving averages, they can also act as support and resistance. Support and resistance. The same concept applies when you're looking at patterns, right? And of course, support and resistance. Uh, you can use the moving averages the same way, okay? All right, so yeah, so that's the reason why I want to just kind of point this out very briefly for those of you just stopping in that three day moving uh, exponential moving average is what we'll be paying attention to. You see how I count some really, really nice support back here back in uh, October the 3rd, 2020. So yeah, it's the only line for me um, if the market retraces. So yeah, that's it. 
Hopefully this was useful. The only one level that we'll leave you guys out with it could have been summed up two seconds. Thirty-eight fifty-five, three thousand eight hundred fifty-five dollars. Uh, that'll be the level to pay attention or understand what's going on if the market seeks financial support. That's it. So take care of yourselves, protect your portfolio, execute your strategies if you're new here and this was interesting to you. We'd love for you to join us here on this interesting journey. It gets really interesting at times. I'm serious. Um, hit that subscribe button if we can earn that. We'll send you the alternative and alternative markets if you're into like Bitcoin and altcoins. We'll send you that when it's available. Okay. So take care of yourselves, protect your portfolios, execute your strategies. We're going to talk soon. Bye for now.